Hey guys, thanks for joining me for another Dissidia Final Fantasy Opera Omnia video. Today we are taking on Locke's Shinryu fight, so this is part of the raid event. <clears throat> so technically it's Locke and Strago, but we, you know we're going to feature my boy Locke. And we're going to do the same setup I did during his character guide with Aerith and, Vi Aerith and Vice. I think this is a really nice combo. I think Vice is like, his BT effect is so good on Locke. Just for bringing out so much damage out of him, it's, it's actually kind of crazy. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a typical Aerith start. We're going to open with BT. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. Still getting over being sick here. Um, but we're going to start off with her BT. And we're going to ramp a little bit with her, get her overhead filled up. <coughs> and then we're going to basically just set up for a lock. We're going to feature lock here and set up for his burst phase with Vice off turn. We're going to have Aerith off turn. Uh, I'm pretty sure we set this up with launching. I don't remember for sure if I did or not, actually. We'll have to see when we get there. I may have opted to do, uh, I think I might have did Seymour call here instead for like the HP damage up. So either way, we get something extra here. <clears throat> but what's nice, you know, during the character guide, I know I kind of went very quickly into his FR. So here's a good way just to look at like what his regular damage is, is doing outside of uh, Force Gauge, right? <clears throat> and we'll just see him with multiple BT effects up and all that fun stuff. All right, so here with Vice, I'm trying to remember if I go BT right away. I think we might. We, uh, Yeah, Rydia for sure is a good safety net here. For sure want to get that up. Okay, and I think we might go BT right away with him. Because I'm thinking Aerith can just ramp on her next turn. Yeah, we go BT right away. Because I'm like, yeah, we're just going to take it to the house with Aerith next turn. <clears throat> get into this lock burst as like, fast as I can. Why not? <clears throat> all right so i'm trying to think of what to do with Locke here to start out and i'm like do i want to just get his bt effect up right away so i'm like let's steal let's see if we you know can get into a genji master scroll like right away like let's just have some fun with them right <laughs> and there we go we got a genji master scroll set up so i'm like ooh, that's kind of nice i'm like instant turn yes please let's do it <laughs> let's just break off one of these so here's like normal damage right like vice's bt effect up just outside of force. And he's did 4.7, dude. Locke just did almost 5 million outside of burst phase. Like, with some splash. Like, that's an insane number. That is a crazy number outside of force time. That's like what some characters are doing, like, midway through force. They're doing, like, 5 mil, and that seems solid. Locke just popped that off with no multiplier. Which, if force enhancement 50 is coming, that's even more exciting. Because you're going to come out of it, and then you're still going to have, like, 500% or 300%, depending on... If you have like force level 30 or 50 characters, I'm going to do a guide on force level 50, by the way. I just want to make sure it's officially announced. And I, I kind of want to wait for it to drop in game. Because when I do my guides, I like to just demo it in game so you guys can see it, right? But uh, <clears throat> I'll definitely try to do a guide on it. Now, depending on when it's all dropping, because uh, I'm moving next week, right? So there's going to be a period probably, like most of next week, I might not be able to do videos at all. So... Um, I'm trying to put out a bunch of stuff like scheduled out so there's a little something going on but just know like community community stream I don't even know if I'm going to be able to cover that this time I'm going to really try because those videos do really well um, and it is tomorrow so we'll see if I get a chance I'm going to try to cover community stream tomorrow um, but it is going to be late because the community stream is normally at like 3.30 my time but I have like anime club on Thursday night so I don't get home till like 5 so like an hour and a half after that and then I've got to work on like packing and stuff. So if I do do it, it's going to be like late tomorrow night if I cover it at all. We'll see. I feel bad because I've been sick the past two days and my wife has been doing all the packing and I've been pretty much bedridden. Today's the first day in like three days that I've been able to like kind of get up and feel like I could do stuff. Part of it was Monday and Tuesday. I went to work like not feeling good and just pushed through it. But then I was like so done by, you know, by the time I got home, I couldn't do anything. So today I stayed home, rested up, got a ton of rest. And by today... This is like uh, Wednesday I'm recording this. This is going to go later than that though. But on Wednesday, um, I rested up and it really helped. I needed it. So I'm glad I did. And now I feel good enough to get some videos done. I'm going to do some packing today too, I think. All right, so here we go. We're in the lock force time. Let's see the Unga Bunga damage. Let's see it, my boy. So yeah, we're going to start with some ramping. And I, I don't know. I'm very impressed by his FR. And if you guys know my channel. Like I talk about like characters like Aerith, Rosa, Pinello. 
I love me a good FR effect, right? Like a good FR, easy to get passive. And Locke is so good. His FR, even if you're not melee, it is still a very good FR because you just have to have a special buff. And that's so easy to get. Most characters just inherently have one. Um, and I think there are ways you can put special buffs on with calls and you're good. So Locke's FR is freaking amazing. Look at 140% gains there from Aerith, which is what I predicted she would get. My simple math skills, right? That's kind of what I figured in my head going through it. And then you, look at that, ramping for 113% there. I'm like, yeah, let's just do some extra ramps to get into this lock BT, right? So I'm like, all right, let's uh, do the EX here, pass turn to Vice. Uh, Vice has a nice echo coming. And then we're going to be a lock on turn eight. And so lock would have room then to apply a call and then go into his burst. So I think that is the plan here. Uh, we'll take that nice whiff there from Rydia. We'll definitely take that. The nice thing is Locke is going to prevent us from breaking even if they do hit us, which is really awesome. So here we go, FR. This is not going to eat up a force turn because we're echoing. Yeah, I just had to do the orange laser swords on Vice. So yeah, Vice popping off like 20 mil AoE plus that. Vice putting up some nice numbers and he canceled the force. That was fantastic. Thank you, Vice. You are the man. And then, yeah, we're ready for, uh, I think we're going to do, yeah, we did Seymour. So I opted to go with Seymour instead of launching here. Launching probably would have output more damage, but it's fine. This is what I had on. So it's going to delay him. It's going to put like an HP damage up on them. We'll take it. And then we're going to go ahead and go burst phase. All right. So we hop in here and we have Genji Master Scroll ready. So this is the way I like to do it. I like to come in here with it already up. Which, if you do it after Locke hits his FR anyways, like, he's going to have it because his FR gives it to him. So there we go, 47 million at 600-something percent. It's pretty good. Now, I think the damage gets hindered a little bit because they go into these defensive stances. So I don't think we're pushing as much HP damage through, but it's still pretty impressive. <clears throat> so I'm like, all right, well, let's LD so we can get Genji Master Scroll back. All right, and then the LD there. Sure, we'll take that 30 mil AoE pretty much right there. And then, yeah, we're just pushing them past our thresholds like so fast. Now we got another Genji Master Scroll, so let's go for the higher HP guy. Yep, swinging away. And another 50 mil shot. Once again, I think on a normal enemy, it would be a lot better. Now we do crumble their defenses, but then they put it back up because we're skipping thresholds. But I think on Locke's last hit, we get a really nice meaty hit off, right? So now I'm like, ah, should we just go FR here? I'm thinking so. And this will hopefully get us near or past the last threshold, right? I think this could put us right at the last threshold, but I think their defenses will be crumbled on this one. So then we're going to get a really nice healthy hit here. But Locke just putting in some work. Yeah, 971, so we're pretty much maxed here, right? So I'm like, this is perfect, because now we can push him maybe to dead here. So Genji Master Scroll, let's see the damage here. Vice, big damage. Locke coming in. Look at all the extra HP dumps from Vice. 71 million. With a little bit of splash on the right enemy. That's mostly from Vice, I think. But, dude, 71 million. That's a healthy, healthy hit. And then we're going to hop in here and do the EX. Let's see what the EX does, right? So the EX still doing 50 mil. And this is why I was impressed with Locke. Uh, even when you don't have Genji Master Scroll, it's not like his other buttons are dead. 50 mil on the EX is really good. And then if they weren't dead here, we would come out of it already having Master Scroll. We would just have to, like, steal a Genji Glove and we got it again. So yeah, lock, dude. Whew. He's putting up some spicy damage. What do we got for our burst phase here? You know, casual 379, almost 400 million on a two target fight. So yeah, my boy Locke's looking really nice with all that utility. I uh, love this man. Let me know what you think of Locke. Thanks for watching. We'll catch y'all on the next one.